One key feature of the VBOX 4 is the addition of these two CAN FD capable ports. They are able to capture the entire CAN bus, which means you do not need to worry about what signals you're interested in at the point of data capture. We can collect every single bit of information from these CAN buses and come back later and pick and choose what information we're interested in. So let's plug it in and go for a drive now. As we're driving along, we're collecting CAN data from two CAN buses on this vehicle. One is a traditional CAN 2.0 bus and the other one a CAN FD. And this will be capturing all sorts of diagnostic data and so we could be doing some open road testing and no matter what happens during this drive that data will be collected and can be analysed by an engineer either using our test suite software or as it's a standard ASC file format uh, you can use your existing CAN analysis tools to analyse the data. So now we've completed our drive we can load up our files that we've just created. We can see now we've got two files created, our normal uh, VBOX data and our CAN ASC file. When we load our VBOX data, the CAN file will load automatically. We get a dialog pre box presented and we can pick which signals we might be interested in or we can just load all of them from our DBC file. Now all our channels have been loaded in and we can use them in test suite like we would with any other channel. We could graph them. In this example, I can show uh, every time we use the left or right indicator during our drive. And we can see the channels have now been loaded up alongside our VBOX data. What's significant about this data is it is effectively recorded at an infinite log rate. We could have a kilohertz sensor wired into the CAN bus and we will record samples at kilohertz. It's recorded at its native rate. It's not tied to the VBOX logging rate of 100 hertz. We can now analyze the data much like we would with any other signal that we have in the VBOX.